All right, so I want to walk you through number two now. This is the tray problem that we uh, that we looked at the other day, um, and it's also similar to the tray that we built before. So we're looking at this tray. It's 40 inches by 60 inches. The remaining edges are folded up to create a box because we're cutting out squares. So one thing that often helps me when I'm looking at a story problem is to draw a picture. Right. So go ahead and draw a rectangle here. And if you remember correctly from the example we did, you actually cut squares out of the corners. Now I know those aren't exactly squares, but um, I think you get the idea. We're cutting those squares out so that we can fold them along these dashed lines. We can fold it up and actually make a tray. All right. Now if you think about this, this whole distance right here is 60 inches. The whole distance. And this whole distance right here is 40 inches. Okay. And the height of the um, the height of the tray is going to be determined by how big of a square you cut out here. If you were to cut a one inch by one inch square, the height would be one inch. All right. If you're going to cut a two inch by two inch square, the height would be two inches. So the height is the thing that we are picking. It's what what we call our independent variable. It is what we are going to call our x. All right. So it's x here, x here, x here, x here x here, x here. So we have all these x's because they're all squares and they're all the same size square. Um, so we're taking all those x's. Now if you look at this, so I'm going to write this over here. h equals x. Now let's talk about the length. What's the length going to equal? The length is 60 inches. So it starts with 60 inches. And we are going to take this and this away from it. Now we don't know what those lengths are, so we have to talk about them in terms of x. This is um, one x, this is two, another x, so together we've got two x, so we have to take away two x. So our length is 60 minus two x. Our width, our width is right here, and again, we've got 40 inches, but this distance right here is not gonna be 40 inches. It's gonna be 40 inches minus 2x because again we are taking those out and you can put the inches in when we write the formula you're probably not going to put the inches in you don't want it to um, kind of get in the way and think of it as a variable okay so create a rule that would um, find the volume of the tray depending on the size square cut out of each corner so if we were to take this volume equals length times width times height okay right general rule right there the only problem is that we don't have it um, specific to this tray. So specific to this tray, our length is 60 minus 2x, where x is the height of the tray. Our width is 40 minus 2x, where the x again is the height of the tray. And again, the height then is just x. So now we've got our length times our width times our height. And it says, what is the size square that can be cut out of the corners to give the maximum volume? And in this case, our x again is the height, and our v of x is the volume, so we can plug this function into our calculator. So go to the home screen, do a new document, go to graphs, and you're going to plug this function in right here. So it's going to be 60, put the parentheses, 60 minus 2x, close parentheses, parentheses, 40 minus 2x, close a parenthesis, and then just a parenthesis and x at the end. So once you've got that, go ahead and see if we can get this on here. There we go, it's starting to come into focus. There we go, and hit enter. Now you probably don't have a great window for this, so if you want to figure out like the maximum or, or get an idea on like what values we're looking at hit control T so we can go to the table and if you notice at one it's really at 2204 cubic inches so that's pretty big and if you keep going down in the table you're gonna see that at eight it's as high as it's gonna get with whole numbers and that's 8448 so I'm gonna take the table off I'm going to go to menu, 
I'm going to go to window and I'm going to go to window settings and I'm going to 